Hi, today I'm going to look at recording network packet traces on a PC without using Wireshark or any other additional tool. Now it's a, a little known fact, or certainly I find that uh, very few people realize that Windows comes with a packet capture mechanism. And that mechanism is part of the NetShell environment. So we can use a command just like this one, netshell trace start, capture equals yes, specify a trace file name, and we just hit enter, and that trace starts running. Now, I haven't added anything to my Windows setup. This is just a standard Windows 7 machine, and it also works on Windows 10. So let's now do a few things in uh, some, generate some traffic. Okay, that should be enough. Now we stop the trace with a very simple command, netshell trace stop. Now this command takes some time to run, so don't be put off if it takes literally minutes to run. Okay, netshell has completed its work, so let's go and have a look at the file. You can see that we have a file called mytrace.etl and we also have this accompanying um, cabinet file. I'll look at that on another occasion, but today I just want to uh, focus on the um, ETL file here, which is actually the packet capture trace. So unfortunately, this trace will not open directly in Wireshark. Wireshark doesn't um, support this format of trace. That gives us a few options. The first one is to use Microsoft Message Analyzer. And we can simply take this file, drag and drop it into Message Analyzer, and it opens quite normally in Message Analyzer. And you can see by the uh, summary information here that we definitely have a network uh, packet capture. And uh, we see lots of other types of entries in here as well. Okay, so that's one way we can do this, but what if we want to now go on to explore this in Wireshark? Well, in theory, we can export the file. So we can export it into a .cap format, which is supported by Wireshark. But let's try doing that and see what happens. You can see that we've selected all messages here. We export, it's going to export it as a .cap trace. Now let's go back into here and sure enough we have a .cap trace file and if I try and open that in Wireshark you can see we get nothing and in the statistics uh, properties uh, panel you can see that it appears that we haven't captured any packets. Now the problem here is actually in the export function and it does tell you, although I didn't spot it when I first used it, it says in the export, decrypted messages are not saved. Now, because I recorded this off of my wireless interface, um, it will not export these packets. But if I take a trace that was recorded off of a LAN interface, so let's go and have a look at another one, such as this one here. So this was off of a, a wired interface. I drag and drop that and that opens in the normal way. File, save as, export, land.cap, save that. You can see it's doing more because it's actually taking more time to do it. And uh, now we go into here, you can see that we have land.cap, double click, and sure enough, that opens. So if you've got a trace that's captured off of a wired interface, that will work okay. If it's captured off of a wireless interface, it probably won't work. Okay, so let's look at some alternatives. One thing we can do is we can use Workbench. So if I add a file into this file set, I pick my file that I, I created just now. And now if I drag and drop that onto the work pad, I take uh, Wireshark, drag and drop that onto the file, it opens. But there is a problem. You can see that actually 
we only see traffic going outbound from my PC to other devices. All of the inbound traffic only decrypts up to the 802.11 header and then everything that follows is actually not uh, decoded. So this is because the 802.1 header has a flag in it that claims that the header includes WEP information and you can see that it's tried to interpret WEP parameters down here but in fact this is actually the um, uh, the LLC uh, header, the next header up in the uh, packet. And so the problem is that although the flag is set in the header, um, it's stripped off before it arrives actually at the capture mechanism. Now, good old Wireshark knows exactly how to deal with this situation. So what we do is right click here, go into protocol preferences, ignore the protection bit, yes without IV, and sure enough, now we see all of the data. And of course I can leave that, that preference setting active all of the time. So, just to summarize, there's a way of capturing packets with Windows out of the box, and that is to use the NetShell trace command. And we have a couple of ways that we can um, analyze that data. We can use Microsoft Message Analyzer or we can use Wireshark via Workbench. I hope you found that useful. I'll speak to you soon.